Surgical interventions are often used to remove the cancerous tissue from the lungs. There are three main types of surgical interventions used to treat lung cancer. The first is a wedge resection. This is when a small portion of the lung is removed. This can be done not only to remove cancerous tissue, but as a diagnostic technique to check whether or not lung tissue is cancerous. This technique is relatively less invasive and is recommended when the patient's lung function is not high enough to allow for other, more invasive procedures. The second is a lobectomy. The right lung has three lobes, whereas the left lung has two lobes. In a lobectomy, a whole lobe of the lung is removed. If your lungs are healthy, your doctor may recommend a lobectomy over a wedge resection as a way to increase the chances of completely removing the cancer. The third is a pneumonectomy. This is when one whole lung is removed. Pneumonectomies are done when other, less invasive operations cannot be performed due to the size, location, or the number of the tumors. For instance, if the cancer has spread to several points in the same lung. Patients who have one of their lungs removed can still continue living and breathing with their remaining lungs. However, this procedure is not recommended for patients above the age of 65. Radiation therapy and chemotherapy are other commonly used treatments for lung cancer. This video will cover brachytherapy, external beam radiation therapy, and chemotherapy. There are two main types of radiation therapy. The first is brachytherapy, and the second is external beam radiation therapy. Brachytherapy also known as internal radiation therapy, is when radioactive material is placed via surgery or scope directly in or beside the cancerous tissue. This material then administers doses of radiation to the cancer cells. The radioactive material is often in the form of pellets and can be removed after a certain amount of time, or can be permanent but the radiation gradually reduces in strength. Radioactive material is placed as close as possible to the cancer cells to decrease the damage to the surrounding healthy cells. This technique can be used to help relieve symptoms that are caused by tumors in the airway. External beam radiation therapy uses a machine that emits radiation from outside of the body and directs it at the tumor. Along with the tumor, healthy cells in the path of the radiation are also damaged. Therefore, this method is not used for large areas. There are many newer techniques that involve multiple beams targeting the tumor. Changing the direction at which the beams are emitted and changing the intensity and dosage of the therapy. There is also newer technology that makes radiation therapy more precise. Radiation therapy is not used to treat widespread cancer. It can be used as complementary therapy along with chemotherapy and surgery to lower the risk for the cancer to return. Chemotherapy is a treatment which uses strong drugs to kill the cancer cells. The chemotherapy medication is either injected directly into the veins or can be taken by mouth in the form of a pill. Chemotherapy is most effective at killing rapidly dividing cells, such as cancer cells, but also can damage healthy cells that divide quickly, such as those found in the skin, hair, and nails, to name a few. Chemotherapy is administered in cycles which allows for the body and the healthy cells to recover. Depending on the patient, more than one chemotherapy drug may be administered at a time. Patients who are unable to tolerate multiple chemotherapy drugs may be given only one. Targeted therapies are a relatively newer type of lung cancer treatment that specifically targets cancer cells. This video will give a brief introduction on targeted therapies. Targeted cancer therapies are a set of drugs that block the growth and spread of cancer by interfering directly with mechanisms involved with tumor progression. The goal for targeted therapies is to directly treat the cancer cells while sparing normal cells. These therapies often come in the form of a pill that can be taken daily. This form of therapy is selective for mutated proteins specific to the tumor, explaining targeted effects. In Canada, two targeted therapies have been approved for non-small cell lung cancer. They belong to a group of drugs known as growth factor receptor tyrosine kinase inhibitors. These drugs prevent the activation of a protein that can be found spanning the outer wall of cells. This protein is known as the epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR. 
Normally, activation of these receptors results in signals being sent to the cells, telling them to divide. There is often an excess of these receptors on cancerous cells, which leads to the uncontrollable division associated with cancer. By inhibiting this protein with targeted therapies, we can help lessen the signals that tell the cancer cells to grow and spread. Targeted therapies can be used in conjunction with other forms of treatment. It is a desired treatment for advanced stages of cancer because it is systematic, yet unlike chemotherapy and radiation, it does not harm the normal cells of the body. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of treatment varies based on the presence of a specific mutation, which may not be common amongst patients. Given that tumors vary from patient to patient, mutations can be typed and matched with a specific drug. This test can be requested by your physician. This concludes our video presentation on common treatments for lung cancer. Please refer to your physician if you have any questions or concerns.